we're going to explain what ZK Sync is and why you should consider building on it. You'll learn why ZK Sync is different from other chains out there and to see if it's the right fit for you. We have Brayden here, a DevRel from ZK Sync, who is going to explain to us what ZK Sync is. Then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your very own smart contract to the ZK Sync testnet. We are a layer two rollup here to scale Ethereum using zero knowledge proofs. We are EVM compatible. So that means that you can use Solidity and Viper uh, and use some of the existing Ethereum tools that are out there to have that kind of similar building experience that you're used to on Ethereum. And the purpose of ZK Sync is to really, we like to say, accelerate the mass adoption of blockchain. We do that by creating higher throughput and decreasing the costs for transactions. So you really get like a great combination of zero knowledge proofs, EVM compatibility, state dips for avail data availability and the native account abstraction. With the zero knowledge proofs, uh, the great thing is you are relying on uh, math and not on game theory, uh, EVM compatibility, like I was saying before, and then the next part of the state diffs is the fact that instead of posting all the transaction data onto Ethereum, uh, we're just changing or posting the state differences. Uh, we're only charging for that a single change between state A and state B uh, because it opens up a lot of possibilities to you know really save space and helps drive that cost down. And with the native account abstraction, really frees us from uh, some of the constraints that you'll see in things like ERC-4337. Instead of having this separate mempool for transactions that come from these smart accounts, they all go to the same uh, mempool, makes it easier experience, and also allows EOAs to use paymasters, uh, which isn't really something that people are familiar with. And I think it just gives like a, an advantage to ZK Sync. Uh, to one, like be a little bit one step into the future while still having that familiar building experience that you're used to. Like I was saying before, like I'm, I'm really excited to see people take more advantage of the tools that are out there. Like the account abstraction, I think is really going to be that like aha moment. If you want to build right now and you don't want to do anything else, you can go to our documentation, go to our quick start guide and just get started with the hello world and reading up on things. You can actually do NPX, ZK Sync hyphen CLI create demo uh, and it's a whole tool that will just automatically walk you through uh, getting your project set up and you can just automatically start deploying things and messing around but i think the super important part about everything that we are doing here in the crypto world is really about community so i would highly highly suggest joining our zk sync uh discord uh following our zk sync devs account on x as well as our github discussions page uh we have uh, a great source of information uh, for people asking questions. And that's about five different things that could get you started right now if you wanted to get involved in the community. Now that you've learned a little bit more about the ZK Sync network, I'm going to show you how you can actually start building on ZK Sync and how you can deploy your very first smart contract to the chain. We'll first cover how you can get some testnet funds on ZK Sync so you can deploy your smart contract. Then we'll use ThirdWeb's pre-built smart contracts and dashboard to deploy your very own ERC-20 smart contract to the ZK Sync chain. Now we'll start this off by first getting some testnet funds so we can deploy our smart contract. I'm in ZK Sync's documentations here, and we're within the section of their documentations where they go over how to get some testnet funds, and there are different network faucets and ways of getting those testnet funds on ZK Sync Sepolia. So right over here, you can read through the documentations. They have a few ways of getting these funds. They have a couple faucets here. So you can go to the Chainstack faucet and you can collect 0.05 ETH on ZK Sync Sepolia testnet every 24 hours. Or you can check out Learn Web 3 here and you'll be able to get 0.01 ETH per day as well. So these are different options here. This is going to give you Sepolia ETH directly on the ZK Sync test nets. And then finally, we also have the different options here for Sepolia faucets. So this is going to give you Sepolia ETH on the Sepolia ETH network. And then we'll have to use the ZK Sync bridge to bridge it over from ETH Sepolia to ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. And we're going to cover both options. So a faucet and bridging here in this video. So you can kind of get a sense of what it is to go through both of them. I'm going to use the learn web three option here. So we're going to click on that link. It's going to bring us over to the learn web three website here. And you can see this is the ZK Sync era Sepolia faucet. We just need to sign in right here. Let's sign in with Ethereum, use our MetaMask wallet. I'm going to sign in. Once I'm signed in, I can put in my ETH address here. 
So let me just copy that and paste that in and request the 0.01 ETH. And there you go. Our tokens have been sent to us. We can view it on the block explorer if we want to, but I now have 0.01 ETH within my wallet on the ZK Sync Era Sepolia testnet. And that's how easy it is to use faucets to get funds directly on the network of your choice. But if we come back to the documentations here, we can also use Sepolia faucets. So any of these Sepolia faucets down here, you can use to get Sepolia ETH on Sepolia ETH testnet. And then we're gonna use the ZK Sync bridge here to bridge it on over to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. So I'm gonna head on over to the bridge here. And I already have some Sepolia ETH within my wallet. Again, you can use those faucets that were linked in the documentations. But the bridge here, we're gonna be bridging over Ethereum Sepolia testnet ETH to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. So I'm just gonna transfer here 0 0.05 ETH. So from the Ethereum Sepolia testnet to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet, I'm going to change my wallet here to ETH Sepolia. So make sure I switch my network here. And then I'm going to hit continue. And you can say, read the warning and everything here. And I'm gonna say, I understand and, and proceed to the bridge. This is what I'm gonna be sending. Again, 0 0.05 ETH. I'm sending this from ETH Sepolia testnet to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. And I'm gonna hit bridge now. We're gonna get a confirmation here in my wallet. You can see this is the amount here that we are sending over and I'm gonna hit confirm. So this is now going to bridge over our funds from Sepolia to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. You can see here, bridging does take some time. So I'm gonna pause the video here and we'll come back. And once we have the funds in our wallet, we'll head on over to ThirdWeb to deploy our very own smart contracts. And there you go, we're back. You can see our transaction is complete and we've bridged over our Sepolia ETH to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. So now that we have some funds, again, you can either use the faucets that ZK Sync provides in their documentation, or you can use their bridge to bridge over some funds. Once we have that, we can now start deploying contracts on their testnet. So I'm gonna head on over to ThirdWeb's Chainlist page here, and it's gonna be a list of all the chains that we support. And what we're gonna do here is in the top, we're gonna to search for uh, ZK Sync. And you can actually filter this out to testnets only if you just wanna see the testnet, or you can just do all chains. You'll see their mainnet and their Sepolia testnet right over here. So we'll select the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. And within this, you can see all the network information from the chain ID, the explorers. Uh, we can even add this to our wallet here. So we can add the network to our wallet if we don't have it added already. But if we do, it's just gonna prompt us to switch the network. So we can just switch on over to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. And if we scroll on down here, you're gonna see this getting started section and you're gonna see some pre-built contracts by ThirdWeb here that you can deploy. So we're gonna actually deploy this token contract here, which is an ERC-20 standard contract. Once you select it, you can read a little bit more about the contract here. If you scroll down, you can see all the functions that are included in the contract, all the events emitted by the contract, some code here, so some code snippets uh, if you wanna use ThirdWeb's SDK to get started building with this contract. And then you have all the source code here for the contract itself. So we'll come back up to the top. We're just gonna hit deploy now and we're gonna deploy this smart contract. First thing we need to do is fill out the contract parameters like the contract metadata. So we're just gonna call this contract a token and we're gonna give it the symbol of token here. You can add an image, description, fill out the metadata as you like. Then down here at the bottom, you're gonna see network and chain. You should see ZK Sync Sepolia testnet here. If you don't, hit that drop down, and you can search it here. You can search the name, the chain ID, mainnets, testnets. Uh, at ThirdWeb, we support any EVM compatible network, so you can just search it in here, select it. Uh, we already have ZK Sync Sepolia set here, so once that is set, we can hit deploy now. We're going to get a prompt right over here to, to sign this signature request, so we're gonna hit sign, and then we're gonna get another signature request, and this one is to add this to our ThirdWeb dashboard, so we're gonna set that. So the first one, again, was to deploy the contract, the second one was to add it to dashboard. And there we go, we've successfully deployed our contract to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. So over here you can see our contract name, token, the network we deployed it to, ZK Sync Sepolia testnet, and then we also have the contract address here, so you can copy that, use it as needed within your applications. We have our menu here in our dashboard where you can go to the Explorer, view analytics, settings, and everything for your contract. You can also come into the token tab here, and because we deployed an ERC-20 smart contract, you can mint, transfer, airdrop, or burn ERC-20 tokens from this contract right over here. And just like that, we deployed our very own ERC-20 smart contract to the ZK Sync Sepolia testnet 
using ThirdWeb. We got some testnet funds using a faucet as well as a bridge on over to ZK Sync Sepolia testnet. Now you can use this contract. You can start messing around with it, minting your own ERC20 tokens if you want to, or you can also use ThirdWeb's SDK to start building Web3 applications utilizing this contract. And we'll drop resources and everything that we went over in this video, as long as other tutorials. If you want to follow along and learn how to build Web3 applications using ThirdWeb's SDK, we'll drop that all down in the description below to check out.